um, started a business and sold it, my everyday job is now just sitting around on the couch. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't do much right now. Uh, I'm going to take some time to think about what my next everyday job is going to be. But um, I'm, my, my everyday job used to be in being a nerd. So uh, I'm, I'm an IT geek nerd. entrepreneurial in there and um, crazy that's it <laughs> that's more than enough hello like uh, in my life definitely my dad role model in, in terms of entrepreneurship. Uh, um, uh, I really like Guy Kawasaki's um, sort of the out of the start. Uh, I saw some of his videos just on when we got started and yeah that, that really kind of got me inspired and I was like yeah that's that's the way to go. Focus. Um, we were running our business for uh, eight, nine months. And um, I went to a workshop uh, that Mick Binskis ran, and um, it was about it was about focus. Uh, and initially, I was just sitting there, I was listening to it, going, "Yeah, that's all nice." And uh, the next presentation was even more boring. So, um, uh, not that this was boring, but that was really boring. And then I started thinking, "Oh, maybe maybe this does apply to us." And the more I started thinking about it, the more I realized how heavily it, it applied and um, uh, that's when we started actually focusing the business after that and that's what really accelerated the, the success like, significantly. So that was probably the, the single thing that had the most impact. Uh, I like to think it's, uh, I get stuff done. Um, I have very little patience and I think that's one of my best skills. So. Uh, I think of something, uh, I go do it, um, and that means sometimes it doesn't always get, get done in the nicest and best way, but at least it gets done, which is better than, I think, you know, just talk and talk uh, about what you're going to do, uh, I, just, I just get straight into it and do it, so. because every definition you give excludes people that are entrepreneurs. Um, I don't know, it's someone that I think sees opportunities and, and, and sees like things that are wrong, things that needs fixing and then goes and fixes them. It's like, um, to me it's a, the person that walks into a room where they don't know anyone and uh, something has fallen down, it's the person that actually picks it up and puts it back, you know, it's like, um, and um, so uh, I understand not most people won't say that's an entrepreneur, but those people are generally, they, they, I think that's kind of, you know, the, um, they think a little bit outside of the box, and, and, um, yeah, people that just get stuff done and, and think differently about things and, and solve problems, something like that. years ago um, and I met my girlfriend Kim um, and moved to Silicon Valley and um, learned about what what the word entrepreneur and startup meant and VC and angels and stuff like that I had no idea um, but at the same time only to realize that I had been an entrepreneur for, for half my life already um, just not not that serious. So what inspired me, I think probably my upbringing um, or, or it was already in me, I don't know which one it is, but um, I don't know if it's in the genes or in, in, in the upbringing, but I definitely got encouraged to like, you know, do new things and, and stuff like that, so that, that helped.
so far, so I can't really say um, like there was a real like ever a, a problem. Like if I look at you know things done in the past, it, it wasn't a hard lesson. But I think one thing that I've learned is that you know building a product is not enough. Uh, so if you want to you know get some success, uh, especially like PR and stuff. Uh, yeah, thinking about how to sort of organically grow your company and stuff like those things are things yeah, that, um, that I definitely had to learn to, to get in. I actually had no fear. <laughs> um, people have asked me before, like, what, um, what would you have done if it didn't work out? Uh, I never actually thought about that. So. Um, so I really had no fear because I had, I had no concept in my mind that it couldn't work. Um, um, I rarely read books um, or anything really. Uh, I'm dyslexic and it just takes a lot of time for me to read. So uh, I prefer video and stuff like that. Um, but I've, I've recently read uh, The Art of the Stars by Guy Kawasaki, I definitely recommend that. And um, also the four hour work week. Um, don't recommend reading the middle bit of the book, but um, the start, the, sort of the, the philosophy behind lifestyle design uh, is not a bad thing to read. I think. I just keep driving, I've seen it so many times. <laughs> okay, so on behalf of ASUS of DTS, I just want to thank Guy.